Hey guys, Martin here, Bella Linda Smart Displays, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a delve into dacboard.com and have a look at some of their awesome features, one of them being the templates. So let's go and dive right in. So let's jump onto dacboard.com, and when you do so, you're going to be presented with this page here. Top right, you'll have a login portal, and let's log in. And once we've logged in, you'll see that uh, we're presented with a screens page. And this is essentially the page where it's going to showcase all the screen layouts that you have. So as you can see, we've got one screen here that is actually set up as a essentially digital signage that is for the screen that is on my desk on the right hand side of me here. Uh, so for the templates, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the left hand side here and we're going to find something that's called templates. Now, templates is Dacboard's generated templates. Everybody has access to them. Although you should note that you require at least the essential plan to implement a template. So essential plan and upwards uh, can implement templates. And also note that you need to have uh, available screens. So again, depending on the package that you're on essential plan, you are allowed two screens without having to or until you're going to be billed for additional. So bear that in mind. If you are at your max number of screens, it's quite easy. Um, just hit this three dots over here on the screen and delete the screen. That frees up space so that you then have or, or allow additional screens that we can then implement. So let's on, head on back to templates and take a look at some of the templates available. So if we scroll down, you'll, you'll appreciate that there's quite a bit of templates. What we're going to be looking for today is something that is in portrait because I have a portrait layout display on my desk. So let's see if there's anything that appeals to us today. I think I'm going to go with this photo frame. So once we select the photo frame, it's going to ask you to screen and yes, we do. Let's add screen. When we add screen, it's going to jump right into that screen and allow us to make those modifications and customizations. So now you can see that there needs to be some sort of linking going on. We need to link some calendars. We may need to update some time, some temperature um, and so forth. But being a template, it's just the baseline of, of customization. You can still go and customize this display as far as you like but for the purpose of this exercise let's just jump into some of the layout blocks that they have available to us right here so calendar here you can see that that block highlights that calendar is highlighted in blue there we can double click that and it's going to open up a page with calendar settings so we can now select our calendar that we like i want to see that one and holidays in australia is always a good one and click save that now should be updated and we should start seeing our calendars pull through to the display great stuff let's head over to the time we can this time click that hit edit and just making sure that we have the right time zone selected so we're in australia brisbane it is Sunday and I like to have it the 5th of May. Click save and we now see the time being updated. Same thing over here with the weather. We're going to click edit. We're going to change the weather to current location, Capera, Queensland. And I think I'm going to keep everything else the same except for the temperature measurement Celsius and click save. Now photos. The photo background um, you can see there we can double click that or we can hit the edit to the top left and we can make use of various apps to import and showcase photos currently we're using dacboard standard photos which is nature and landscape one that i like is uh, something called unsplash it is essentially the google of photos in essence so what we do here is we type in keywords and it then presents us with images based on those keywords. Uh, let's have a look for puppies and cats and hit save. 
All right, and sometimes it does take a moment to communicate with the cloud and back. But let's go back and now push this updated display to the actual display that is sitting on the desk right now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back over to screens. And as you'll see, now we have a new screen sitting on the right hand side here that's called photo frame. That's the one that we just pulled from the templates. We can see that it's not assigned to any screen as yet. That is that indication over there. And we can see that our screen is still displaying this, uh, which is the signage display over there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit these three dots on the right hand side here. And we're going to say assign to, and we're going to select our Bella Linda smart display. Hit the sign, and it should take just a moment to that screen showing the renewed information. So if we head back into the photo frame to do any more or to do more customization, we can see now that the photos have been updated. It's a on a loop and because it is cloud based software, it's most likely not going to be displaying the same photos across. Just bear that in mind there. So if we click on edit the photos again, uh, let's go in and just have a look at our change frequency. So let's bring down that change frequency to 30 seconds so that we get a rotating of photos a lot quicker click save and let's see if we can add something another block of of interest let's go with tools and custom text so now what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to take that custom text drag stretch and begin to edit so when we go into edit we can now start to edit that and let's then begin to edit and say subscribe to my YouTube channel and click save. What we can further do is we can edit that even more and give it a centered origin and make it a lot bigger. Let's also change the font to something like Oswald and I'm happy with the color. Click save and drag and sort of drop that to the middle. Now we want to push that over to the display. So the display is displaying exactly what we've shown. We've updated the screen to. So we're going to hit this block over here. And now we see the screen update. Awesome. Well, that's a bit of templates and the capabilities of customization. I hope that has enlightened you a little bit more on what it is Dackboard can do that's all i have for you today so why don't you subscribe to my channel like share and i'll see you later